the 7A state title at St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Fort Lauderdale last year. And O'Korn will throw Ryan Jackson out of the backfield. For the 25, this pass play will net Houston a first. Center under center right now. You've already seen the very quick pace of the offense. They ran a play on first down for two yards. O'Korn a play fake, and the defensive back fell down. It's caught at the 25, a cut to the 15. Deontay Greenberry is out near the goal line. Greenberry a deep ball and takes it all the way down to the Rice 2. Well, the corner just fell down on the play. I mean, he, we just talked about Deontay Greenberry averaging 10 catches a game. Right now, 20 in his first two games. Plunge by Ryan Jackson. We'll take one more look at it. Callahan will fall down. And then Deontay Greenberry catches 17 and a half seconds per play on their first very quick four-play touchdown drive. Daniel Spencer was the intended receiver. John O'Korn is down after the throw as Michael Kutzler, who had an interception return for a touchdown, had a pick six last week against the Jayhawks, knocked down O'Korn. Well, here he is coming right through the B gap between the guard and the tackle, hitting him right in the ribs. Uh, that's the rib shot. And he's got to protect. Rice up by six just a moment ago. Houston quarterback John O'Korn takes a shot from Rice linebacker Michael Kutzler. Well, Kutzler's the middle linebacker, the leading tackler. And he just is on a straight blitz. I mean, he's unblocked right now. He puts a, the hit right on the right rib cage of Michael. Yards. Yeah, did his job. Now O'Korn. Rolling on the play action. Throw it. Deontay Greenberry at the right 45. Thrown out of bounds. The tackle by Julius White holding. Yeah, you know, he can throw it well on the run, too. And he took another shot as he throws this. All right, so the last time he thrown, he got knocked out of his chain. <laughs> Look at that hit. That's all. David Bailiff knows all about this here in his seventh year. Another throw for O'Korn. Too deep for Deontay Greenberry. And another thing about this rivalry is after the incompletion, it's third and five for John O'Korn and the Houston Cougars. And a bullet pass. Rice has struck, or Houston has struggled with drops. That one. Oh, this is right where O'Korn wants to put it. Away from the defender, low for a first down, and Spence just has to look that ball in. The thing about... Well, this year for Rice, they have thrown four interceptions, so they are a minus two in turnovers. O'Korn, after the fumble, was hit as he throws. Incomplete pass. Kutzler picked it up, but that's an incompletion. They brought Kent Brooks in to run. He ran on the last play. Now an interception on the pass by John O'Korn. O'Korn has it picked off along the near sideline for Rice. That's Gaines. That's Gaines, Gaines, his first interception. That is the first interception in four years for Philip Gaines, the preseason Conference USA Defensive Player of the Year. And O'Korn throws his first collegiate interception, and he really just tried to fit this ball in. Gaines is just does a nice job of just getting back. He's going to his favorite target on the outside there, Greenberry, and he just doesn't put enough on it. Kind of leaves it short, and Gaines will say... Sophomore from San Antonio Central Catholic. Spencer gained a yard. O'Korn, in what appears to be a broken play, finds himself surrounded by blue jerseys and thrown down for a three-yard loss. Malcolm Hill leading the way. Well, you're going to get Spencer coming in reverse motion here, number four. I don't know if he was supposed to give it to him. I can't believe that after a guy's been knocked out of the game, give the ball on a reverse like that. Now Rice defending as Houston faces a third and 11 and a throw over the middle and incomplete. Greenberry was covered by Julius White. Julius White had great coverage, but the ball hit Greenberry right in the chest. Julius White getting the start today because of Corey Frazier's injury. I mean, here he is in the slot. And I think the ball is well, play, uh, well thrown here by O'Korn. Might have been a little contact beforehand, too. That was my question. Retained the number one pole position, but he can't be thrilled. Dropping back, John O'Korn has returned to the game. And an underneath throw to Ryan Jackson, and Ryan Jackson somersaults over the tackle. It was Philip Gaines who had the interview going back to last year. And now you see what kind of threat out of the backfield he is. 229 yards rushing on the year coming into play today. And a quick throw by O'Korn on first down. After a short gain, it stood up. Get ready to go. Second down and seven. O'Korn throws Daniel Spencer, broke it up. On third down. 
Here they come. Both inside linebackers. Jackson, the running back, picked up the blitz, and O'Corn runs, and O'Corn is able to stay in bounds, and he is able to eat past the marker, it would appear, for a first down. And for Houston, the nation leader in first downs at 33 a game. They have nine today. A throw here to midfield. Deontay Greenberry is upended by Julius White. So quickly that the blitz couldn't get there. Teams combined for 20 points in the first quarter. Only three here in the second. As O'Corn throws, it was trying to find Daniel Spencer. Incomplete. Laid it down at St. Thomas. Back to throw a corn bullet over the middle and broke it up. Deontay Greenberry, the intended receiver, but incomplete on the third down pass play, and Julius White was there again. Played a lot a year ago. Here he is breaking on the ball now. Played a lot last year when Corey Frazier got hurt, and then Corey Frazier was hurt last week, and that's a good job of stripping. They like to score quickly. And they have two timeouts. Back to throw on the screen, John O'Corn. Oh, Ryan Jackson throws a tackler to the ground. Michael Kutzler comes out on the wrong end of that. His clock is moving, though. 25 seconds. John O'Corn. The pass to the sideline. Deflected, almost intercepted. Philip Gaines nearly had his second interception of the day. He could have just elevated maybe about two inches higher. On the outside. That's a bad throw. It's just bad communication. I like how these corners challenge the receivers. Third and seven. Quick pass. O'Corn. Complete. Deontay Greenberry eludes one tackle. He's in the field goal range. Running inside the rice. 30 to the 25. Uh, well, you're going to have... There's uh, Greenberry right there in the circle. So, the best cover guys are on the outside. Look at the middle of the field. It's just wide open. Because all the coverage is the outside. But you've got to figure out a way to get your best corners on Greenberry. Because he's a guy that has averaged 10 catches a game in the first two weeks of the season. And that's a tough tackle in the middle of the field for anybody. Paul Porras couldn't bring him down. No. Paul Porras, the nickelback. They still have one timeout to the middle of the field and option. At the Rice 25, going up top. And it is caught into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Daniel Spencer for Houston. And here's Greenberry. He's going to get doubled here. And so it leaves Spencer one-on-one -on -one up at the top behind Greenberry. There's the one-on-one -on -one develop. There it is. He gets inside the corner. The corner on that play was Malcolm Hill. So really what Houston is doing is their two best receivers are Greenberry and Spencer. And they don't have their best corners on those first half plays, and they were trying to get 100 a game. So Rice really playing their style of football. And O'Corn's pass, stepping up and nearly intercepting Paul Porras. Active in the middle. He's going to get his hand up, working over the left guard. So that ball is hanging in the air a little bit for to get an interception. Houston third down. They need four. O'Corn in reverse direction. Rolling left, a big block wipes out Tanner Leland, and then a shove out of bounds right at the marker by Covington. They will put O'Corn down at the 35. O'Corn, his first collegiate start, true freshman for Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Back to pass on first down, deep ball, incomplete. Julius White breaks up a pass intended for Deontay Greenberry. Greenberry did everything right. He adjusted to the ball, he jumped first, he beat Julius White to it, he just didn't catch it. It was a, actually a great strip by Julius White. Greenberry's got both hands on it. What you want to see from a guy like Greenberry as he gets older and stronger. Working against safeties and linebackers. Greenberry, 113 yards receiving today as they look for Andrew Rodriguez. And an incompletion on a pass that was right at the first down marker. Malcolm Hill on coverage. See, now, like, Radcliffe is there and Hull is there. But Greenberry's not on the field right now. I mean, you want to have your best players on the field. I thought he probably went to the wrong player that time. Maybe a bad read. Right straight game for Houston. Comes up with a huge play. Quick pass incomplete for Daniel Spencer. Rowdy Harper 
from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. By Jalen Finner. He's the one who forced the ball out. But Houston recovered. Now third and eight. And O'Corn with a marker down and running for his life. And down he goes. Zach Pat with a sack inside the 20. There's also a marker down. A minute off the clock. I mean, they're as explosive as any team in the country. Cracked the top 20 this week. John O'Corn throwing and a catch at midfield. That's the first completion of the second half for O'Corn. And line Daniel Spencer deep into Rice territory. 53 yards on the ground today for Houston. First down, O'Corn flushed, decides to throw, looks for the end zone. Deontay Greenberry, a great catch for the Houston touchdown. Wow, areas in the middle is a customary place in a three wide receiver set. And really, this is just kind of a scramble drill. So a scramble drill, everybody's just throwing up their hands right now. Really good job by O'Corn of keeping his eyes down the field, throwing it across his body. And I like the way Greenberry went up to get it. Never allowed the defender to close on it. That's six catches, 146 yards today for Deontay Greenberry and a happy and excited John O'Corn, true freshman quarterback making his first. Now, here he is. All right, so he's in the circle. All right, and this is just a basic scramble drill now because O'Corn gets in trouble. So he initially runs kind of a deep cross, and now he doubles back. So it's a scramble drill that all teams work on and practice every day. Officially at the 39, O'Corn. Looking to go back across the field, and on the throwback, it's incomplete. Was looking for Ryan Jackson. There's trying to get the ball to, to Jackson out of the backfield on a wheel route. He looks like he lost it up in the sky. And you're right, a pivotal, pivotal third down play. O'Corn rolling, throwing, and out of the backfield, the fullback Luke Stice with the catch, and then thrown down to the 32 backfield and they're going for it and it's a play fake and it's a deep ball he's got a man wide open touchdown Ryan Jackson the formation here he is and he's really just going to take this thing right down the seam here and the safety Julius White's going to lose him because you can't see him back there until he breaks out so just a mix up of the coverage White went with the, the deep post, and so J.C., a breakdown. He'd be the first pick in the draft. O'Corn rolling, dropping back, overthrows Daniel Spencer. That's solidarity right there with your fellow offensive linemen. Well, think From their own 25, O'Corn, third and 10, all kinds of time, steps up and delivers a bullet pass to Daniel Spencer to the Rice 48-yard line for a gain of 27. Boy, and that's zones. They're 5 of 13 on third down today. They just converted a third and long. They face another as O'Corn throws in a breakup by Bryce Callahan on a pass intended for Larry McDuffie. Well, Callahan shows his ability here. Just reading this ball in the air, making a break on it right now. He was the outside defender, as J.C. just said. And then he came inside, fell off his receiver, and... Going to be moving into a new stadium next year. He's got a, a new quarterback. And he's got a quarterback who's throwing here. Oh, four, no, almost intercepted. That's a game changer if Julius White hangs on to it, or at least potentially. Julius call here. Throwing this ball up to Spencer. I mean, Julius White should have had that, but you wonder why they're even throwing the ball in that situation up 11 and giving Rice an opportunity.